There we go. Go ahead, Carl. Wilbur, come back, please. If you don't, you'll get caught like always. Shift the blame to me. We'll fight and not talk for a week. Then get tired of not talking. You'll come up with another crazy plan, and I'll get blamed again. Relax, Carl. Operation Tut is complete. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're skipping carefree down the road to inevitable doom Carl, I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. Unnoticed? Gee, you think they'll notice this? Chariot of the Gods? I know this looks bad, but let's examine the evidence. That could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Yeah, Wilbur. But... There you are, Wilbur. I'm leaving on a business trip for a few days. Don't touch the time for sure. Oh, I you Alter existence as we know it, okay? Absolutely. Wait a minute. Great dad. Goodbye, See you in a few days. What did he say about the time machine? He said, give him a crib of God now for a ticket. Which means, have fun with the time machine. Just a little code talk that my dad and I have. Yeah, we're tight. See? I just need one more person to finish my collection. Someone who's suave, debonair. And has rock star good looks. To the time machine! Wilbur! Ah! <laughs> I think you forgot to take out the trash, sweetie. Trash! Right. Thanks. gonna find some way to blame me for this. You left the garage door open, didn't you? Next question. We have to tell your dad! Carl! What's the first rule in a situation like this? Uh, close the garage door. Ooh, low blow. No, it's don't panic. Now, we need to get the time machine back from that bowler hat guy. Well, you're dead, and I'm deactivated. Nice knowing ya! I can follow him in the prototype time machine, but we'll need to infiltrate the Time Laboratory security vault. You're gonna break into your dad's time lab? Yes. Now what's the fastest way to sub-level three? <sighs> Let's see... Sub-level three... Okay, you'll need to take the 415 Express, run the giant hamster ball to the third hall, jump through the spinning fan of death, turn right... No, wait! I mean left. Are you sure you don't want to tell your dad? I'm sure! Right. After that, you just have to make it past the robot guardian, but he's nothing to worry about. Sweet. High five. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, wait a minute. Carl, I've reached the time lab. The prototype time machine should be straight through those doors. That's weird. What? We should have encountered the robot guardian by now. Oh, Dad upgraded! That's right, he did mention something about... Oh, no! Little... Buddy... Carl! Why? 
Operation Subterra Infiltratum is complete. Meet me in the garage. Whoa! Is there anything Wilbur Robinson can't do? Well, there's clean your room, be on time, tell the truth, put your clothes away. I'll get your Dad's time machine back from that bowler head guy. Those doors, so long, Carl. Joke, sit still, eat your veggies, return borrowed items, say excuse me, see your dad, play the trumpet, run for office. Wilbur Robinson has arrived completely undetected. Bowler hat guy! What's with all the girly yelling? <laughs> Carl, what did you do? Don't even start, Wilbur. Everything was fine when I left. This is even worse than the invisible cow incident. There's a volcano in the middle of town. Your dad works for some guy named Emperor Stanley, and we've got giant mechanical ants running all around. Capiche? Hold on. <laughs> the Emperor's name is Stanley? <laughs> this isn't funny. You're right. And do you want to know what else isn't funny? Giant ants stole the time machine. That's two in one day. Would your dad find out Carl, about this? Carl, you're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. The clouds are burning. Try squinting. <laughs> All right, look. There's got to be a way to track down the time machine. <laughs> well, I guess we could build a transponder remote. There's a junk shop in town that should have all the parts. I'm on it. I know. I'm... My biggest fan? Look, I could really use one of those... Oh, no. You're not ready for this glove. What do you mean? Sorry, kid. I've seen your kind before. Chargeball isn't about fancy equipment. It's about skills. But I have skills. I am skills. Then prove it. What's wrong about you? Those were some real nice moves, Wilbur. Here. The Varsity Chargeball glove is yours. Thank you, sir. This glove has a much stronger power amplifier than your <laughs> peewee glove. It'll make short work of those ants. The remote is ready for action. I'm getting a signal. It's close. It's... it's a hundred meters straight down. They must have taken it to the central hive. How am I supposed to get a hundred meters underground? Catch the volcano tram? You're gonna have to dig your way in, buddy. You know, they do a lot of excavating over in the industrial district. Maybe you can find something to help over there. On my way. How dare you enter my throne room. Throne room? <laughs> uh, I was looking for the bathroom. My mistake. So if you just give me my time machine, I'll get out of your hair. No one orders me around in my hive. Not you and definitely not Stanley. Destroy him. Now, to take back what is rightfully mine, but is even more rightfully my dad's. Halt by order of Emperor Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. This vehicle is now the property of the Emperor. No! Do you know what I had to go through to get this? Please uh, step away from the vehicle. Uh, it's my dad! Uh, have a nice day. Ugh. No, please let me clean up. All right.
right, Stanley. The jig is up. Give me my time machine. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Behold, Prometheus. Bring glory to my name! That thing will destroy the whole city! Silence! Ah! <laughs> I said silence! And once you're out of the way, I'll celebrate your demise with a thin crust pizza. <laughs> Seems to be a problem with the toggle switch! No! <clears throat> So far, so good. Hey, kid! Can you get that ball? No! Sorry! I can't interfere or else I'll mess up the future! Okay, thanks! Hey! Great volcano! Ooh, nice ants! I gotta go. Hello, Lewis. That's him, Doris. No doubt about it. <laughs> Delightful. Wait! She's gonna blow! Help! Carl, I've lost him! <laughs> the bowler hat guy! <laughs> <laughs> we must be headed into the future. I'll be right there. Yes. No ants, no volcanoes. Now all we have to do is catch that bowler hat guy. He could be anywhere. This could be tricky. He could be any time. Yeah, this is going to be impossible. But what we do know is that he's not here right now, or there right now. That is a start. I'll search the timelines and see if I can track him down. It'll only take a few minutes. How many minutes? Oh, seven and a half. That long? I'm sifting through millions of alternate realities. What do you want What here? am I supposed to do for nearly eight minutes? I don't know. I've got timelines to scrutinize. Fly away, little monkey. Fly away. 
I think I found the bowler hat guy. That was not seven and a half minutes. I was estimating. It looks like he's at the science fair. Science fair, huh? Gee, I wonder where that is. To the time machine! Again. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry I messed all this up. Carl's sorry, too. I didn't do anything. And Carl didn't do anything. Carl! I only said that because I thought you were dead. I was kidding. It was hardly even your fault. Uh-uh. Don't you shift the blame on me. Okay, fine. I... Yes? I... You can do it. Should have listened to you and Dad. There. Now, doesn't that feel better? No, it hurt. Dad, the science fair! I've got to go back! Oh, wait! I thought you were through messing with the time machine. I have to make one last trip, Carl. I have to make sure that someone important keeps moving forward. Carl, theme song, please. The other one. Way to go, little buddy.